inserting questions what we need to do is go up to click insert questions this is going to bring us back to our question manager what we're going to want to do here is we're going to select a type of question so I insert the text and then I select the type of question I want to do and I want sort in order I only have four things to sort so I'm going to go ahead and remove two of the possible options then I insert my text now here comes the power I'm going to set the order of the answers So that way now the computer knows what answer is correct. I'm not going to have a time limit or a follow-on question. I'm going to select this and just say I just want to place this on a plain page and then I click apply. Now here's the main thing. You want to go up, go to a new page. So now we can create our second question. This time I'm going to paste my question here and I'm going to select the yes or no. As you notice nothing has changed on the side until I go over here and click. I'm going to select the correct answer. I don't want to follow on question and I'm not going to include don't know. Like last time I'm going to select just wanted to replace what's on the current page. I click apply. Then I'm going to collect, click next page. Here I'm going to try a multiple choice question. Again, I add my question here. Question type, I'm going to leave multiple choice. And again, I have four options, so I'm going to deselect these two here. And I'm going to choose the correct answer. The nice thing here too is I can say, well, it's A and it's B, or it's A, B, and C, etc. Just like last time, plain text. Click apply. We're going to do one more type of question. Again, I insert my question name here. Let me go to question type. I'm going to do text. They're going to text in an answer. Remember, they're very limited. I don't want a correct answer here because there's going to be no correct answer necessarily. And then it is not case sensitive. In other words, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to match capitals, periods, etc. or capitals primarily. And then I'm going to click replace with a plane. Click apply. Now I can click done. I'm going to go over to my page browser and go to the very first. Here's my questioning. Over here, now our green play symbol is lit up. I'm going to click play. Now that's going to give me the option to have my people answer. Then I'm going to have them send in their answers. As we see, they light up saying they are complete. One correct and one incorrect. Go ahead and click close and we can continue on from there. As we go on and answer, here's our text question. I push this. Now it allows the students to text in their answer. And I just typed in nonsense, basically, just to see how you can see the point. And then the last step would be clicking this icon here, going down to the bottom, and export. 
or I'm sorry, selecting the one we just did. The test we took, click export, and it's going to export that to an Excel spreadsheet.